Wagwan, my favorite people in the world. Greetings to all my brothers and sisters from the 12 tribes of the children of Israel scattered abroad in the name of the Most High Yah and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Well, today we're going to look at medicine because somebody commented on one of my page that since we follow the Bible, then we should um, not have anything to do with medicine and all of that because that's not in the Bible. So today we're going to go over the scriptures that medicine is in the Bible. Physicians are in there. And we'll start with Proverbs 17 verse 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. Then Jeremiah 30 verse 13. There is no one to plead thy cause that thou may yes be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. So you see medicines are for healing. Jeremiah 46 verse 11, up into Gilead and take balm, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shalt thou use medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. So when the Mosai say you ain't going to be cured, you could try medicines. It ain't going to work. But medicine in addition to prayer does work pretty good because those come from ya. Ezekiel 47 verse 12 as well. It says, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat and the leaf thereof for medicine. Like in Jamaica, we use a lot of medicine from trees, from sour sap leaf to fever grass to semi-contract to sarsaparilla to sarasi, which is a bitter herb. We use a lot of those things for medicine, things like Irish moss that comes from the sea. All of those things are various plants that we use for medicine second address 7 verse 53 and there should and there should be showed a paradise whose fruit endured forever wherein is security and medicine and since we shall not enter into it so we're coming up with a paradise where everything gonna be perfect a medicine to heal our diseases is part of that ecclesiastical 6 verse 16 a faithful friend is the medicine for life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. And now for those people who say, oh, medicine is not in the Bible, Ecclesiasticus 38 verse 4, the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise shall not abhor them. So if you wise, go get your checkup, get your doctor to tell you if everything is all right when you're sick. Then you can use your medicines to cure you. In Genesis 50 verse 2, And Joseph commanded his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father. And the physicians embalm Israel. That's our forefather. Second Chronicles 16 verse 12, And Asa in the thirty and ninth year of his reign was diseased in his feet, until his disease was exceeding great. Yet his disease... Yet in his disease, he sought not the Lord, but to the physicians. So whenever you get sick, the Bible says you must gather up all the elders of the church. They need to be righteous and you seek the Most High for your healing. The Most High works in addition to physicians. But when you don't put your trust in the Most High and only in physicians, that's when a lot of times healing doesn't come. In Job 13 verse 4, it talks about physicians as well. Jeremiah 8 verse 22, is there no balm in Gilead? Balm is something that is used to heal. Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? So when our people are sick, don't go to Soothsayer, don't go to Obia, don't go to none of that stuff. You go to the Most High because he's the one who gives you the scriptures to heal you. He says he will heal all your diseases. He's the one who trains the physicians to heal. And Matthew 9 verse 12. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. So Jesus himself was the great physician, the great healer. Moses too. He could just heal the children and pray and help their diseases to go away. Mark 2 verse 17. When Jesus heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of this physician, but they that are sick. 
I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Because sin is a sickness as well. And only cure for that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself. Mark 5 verse 26. And had suffered many things of many physicians. This is the woman that had the issue of blood. And had spent all that she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. So the healing word of Christ when she touched him, that's what healed her because of her faith. Luke 4 verse 23, And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. So that's basically practice what you preach. You are supposed to be able to pray over yourself, pray over your family, pray over your children. Use the resources that the Most High give you to heal yourself, just like the apostles did back in the day. They were able to command the layman to walk. You know, that was Peter. And he said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So that's the name that has the power in it in terms of healing. And Luke 5 verse 31 again, Luke 8 verse 43, the woman had in the issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be ill of any. I've been there. I've been sick all my life. Doctors sometimes give me the worst reports, but I got to learn how to pray, how to heal, how to um use the medicines that are available how to just have faith and know that, hey, even Timothy, he had stomach problems. And Colossians 4.14, Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. So physicians were among um, Christ's apostles. And Luke was one of them. So that covers today how we heal ourselves through the things the Most High gives us.